Hey guys, welcome back to my StarCraft playthrough. We are continuing with NORAD 2, but before we do that, we're going to go ahead and watch the cinematic, the downing of NORAD 2. And if you wish to skip either the cinematic or the briefing to said mission, the skips will be down in the description below. Everyone on board is dead. It appears that the Confederates are in a state of panic about the Antiguan revolt. I'm picking up a high number of Confederate transmissions going back and forth between their outposts and their headquarters on Parsonis. Most of the transmissions are heavily coded, but wait, here's something. There's a General Duke calling from Alpha Squadron flagship NORAD 2. Crash landed and are being hit hard by the Zerg. Request immediate backup from anyone receiving this signal. Repeat, this is the priority one distress call. Zerg? Here? Serves them right. About time they got a taste of what it's like to be in there mixing it up. Jim, I want you to move in and save that base. I'm positive I didn't hear that right. Arturus, have you lost your mind? Listen, I know Duke's a cold-hearted bastard, but an entire colony shouldn't have to suffer for that. Besides, a Confederate general could prove to be a powerful ally. This is an opportunity we cannot miss. I don't like this at all. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm asking you to do it. Yes, sir. Great. Let's get this over with. Let's go save some Confederates. Objectives, protect battlecruiser NORAD-2. Bring Raynor and two dropships to NORAD-2. Alright, here we go. Okay. Paired up just a teeny bit. Finish collecting all these structures here. We get Goliaths. I need to start working on the getting resources here. It's healed enough that it won't burn. Shift his priorities. Doing this, we better hurry. That ship won't last long against those Zerg. <coughs> He's a general, he can figure it out. So we're just going to be pumping out SCVs for a little while here. SCV, good to go, Get sir. this economy rolling. I kind of want to explore over here just to see if there's any more enemy units in that direction. Cause then we don't need this stuff. We got a Goliath, uh, get Raynor here. How much damage does he do? 30? It's pretty nice. We 
go take a quick gander. I somehow doubt there's anything. There might be like a couple buried Zerg, but other than that. Yeah. What is this right here? Yeah, also, the music volume just a little loud. Turn this down a smidge. So I'm not even going to bother stocking that bunker there. No reason to really destroy it either. SCP good to go, sir. Let's see if he actually starts collecting. <clears throat> so he just stands there if I try to cue him directly from the command center onto the ore. Maybe it's an option in menu. Let's see. No, no, no. Nothing. Nothing there. SCP good to go, sir. Right, one more SCV, maybe two more. We can start collecting Vespian gas. how long this base could last if I never helped. Again, just like uh, the last few missions, it is timed. If I do not act within a certain time limit, we will lose. There's not a, you know, an actual clock timer, but really, there is one. Just can't see it. And one more SCV just to build. to get an academy. Let's stick this way over here. Yeah, and move this back here too. case we might last a little bit longer. <clears throat> I am somehow using my resources from my base to repair these structures. Yeah. That scream though. Start with upgrades. Get the commsat station going. Knowledge is power. Hey, let's put a military forces. I don't know. Let's just sit this down here somewhere. Don't be stuck. Your forces are under attack. Add on complete. Whoa. I snuck around. Your forces are under attack. Okay. <laughs> 
Let's go ahead and get a bunker going on up there, yeah? One of these. SCB, good to go, sir. You want a piece of me, boy? Job finished. All right, Goliaths, I like. I will build a machine shop for those. Requires an armory. SCB, good to go, sir. Fence up here now. <clears throat> Don't want to be ambushed like that again. Get a little bit of map explored while I'm at it. See now. I'm tempted just to put one right here. Right? Because. That'll defend from anything coming from that direction. He's in there good. Okay, let's get a machine shop. Start working on these upgrades. train we're gonna have to kill this guy Just put him out of his misery build like two or three goliaths and start patrolling around Tip top. <coughs> Excuse me. Goliath online. got a special mission for you. Goliath online. Thank you. One more Goliath ought to do it. Oh boy, upgrades take a long time. Let's throw some scans down. Two of these sunken colonies. I'm 
Not much going on up here, actually. I have a back way to that area. Might move an expedition force up there. What I like to do is I get a little squad like this, all mechanical, and just send an SCV with it. This guy control group two, and these guys control group one. That way you can keep them together. Ooh. That was some range. The idea is they attack Raynor since he's so much tougher. Upgrade complete. It's okay. We'll just build two Goliaths for every one Upgrade we lose. Complete. Plus we need armor. Not enough minerals. save up some minerals so we can build a second base up here. I just want to knock out these preliminary defenses they have. Just in case they need to make a move through there. Send rain or in, and then the rest of them. This thing should die long before rain or even gets half health. There we go. I'll just let rain or auto attack that. Meanwhile, you see, this is a nice tight passage right here, and there's no other paths going down into my base. Everyone can focus this. Let the creep go down just a smidge. I'm gonna control group three, the SATCOM. I can do this. I'm gonna take this guy out. Oh. I don't like that. Okay, let's build this guy right, right here. Will I regret this? I don't know. Gotta make the plays, though. Alright, seems like it's clear enough. I'm gonna head up here with this guy. Probably gonna... Yeah, exactly. Come on, chase me down here. We have a bunker. I'm gonna 
front lines. Let's go ahead and build a missile tower behind it. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Let's go ahead and heal everybody. Forces are under attack. Gotta go again. I'm gonna keep him in a bunker as well. Oh, what was that? Missile tower over here. <clears throat> Alright, let's clear this spot out. It's time to expand. Can I reach this? Good today. I don't know if I'm going to be using ships in this level. Keep that on note. Quite offensive here. All right, so now we can expand. Oh, that's, that'd be a good spot. Well, here's not bad. <clears throat> Get another bunker. And with that, we can move this group up. Size base there. <clears throat> I might be destroying this and building there as well. I think that area is self-sufficient now. The are being guys are depleted, so we can move this Base guy up here. Attack. Let's go ahead and heal everybody. Done with that. Just collect these. Well, another SEV for this group. A bunch 
Vespine geyser is depleted. I think you can still send someone in there, but they only get two at a time instead of eight. So there is infinite Vespian gas, but it just takes... it dwindles down so much. Especially with all these repairs I'll have. Let's go ahead and build five more. Repairing, we'll go ahead and move in. Oh, careful there. Kill this first since it's the only thing that deals damage to me. That's down. You repair this while you repair these. On sweeping through here. As to that base, we don't want to mess with that just yet. Let's come around from behind. Kill this. Ooh. Oh, he threw that goop on me. Couple more supply depots. Alright, guys. SCV, get out of the way. What's wrong with you? About this base. Don't have to worry about the blue zerg anymore. sitting there shooting my guy. No one is responding. Okay, okay. Kill this. Built these defenses. Layers are tough.
so much damage. No! Why did I lose? Get four more. I can't feel there. The second sat com. What do I have to deal with over here? Oh boy. Defensive structures. Alright, we got one more spore colony over here. That'll be most of all of Blue's main base. We can go ahead and build another command center. Build a barracks and another war factory up here just to have a front line. Take out this orange base, build another base up there, build another base over here, move all my forwarding outposts this way and start clearing out all this defense. And we are going to need one starport just to build uh, the two dropships we need to beat the level. We'll just put this down here on the edge of this peninsula, makes the most sense. Messing with these orange people. The orange Zerg. Our damage. Get out of here. Let's get our two SCVs back to their main purpose as we construct a new base worth. Violent. 
Can't even finish building my base before you're over there fighting again. Right, we're gonna build four more marines. SCP, good to go, sir. Guess we'll get another refinery going. Another bunker. I kinda want this right around here so I can defend all entries. SCP, good to go, sir. You want a piece of me, boy. Okay, then. Should we get enough? Send this in here. Kill this thing. Ah, I keep catching him at the last second. Oh, Rainer's not feeling too good. Excuse me, I said leave. Base is under attack. Here. Stop going forward. <clears throat> it's all right. We got the main damage dealing structure there. I think we'll just sweep around this way, take out all this stuff, hit the hive from the right side. CVs. Uh, I think I'm going to build another supply depot. You not. Goliath online. Alright guys, let's go. I built another one of those. Colony. To get rid of that, no more Hydra lists. Focus fire. 
Okay. That's a good bum rush. Let's go ahead and heal. You guys patrol and walk any more retarded like. Range. It's hit me from over there. I'm getting close to that thing. my little group we got here. goes down and we'll be pretty good. Alright, you do the last thing standing between me and you finishing off the base. Let's see these here ready to go. Before we hit this guy even once, it's part no no. I was going to move all the units right under him and then attack, but they didn't want me to do that. So if they creep subside a bit, I suppose we can go ahead and build a refinery. 8,000 Vespian gas in there, we're not going to run out. So see, you can't build on creep. But I do want this to be like right around here. Give it a second. Here we have our ramp up. 
I kind of have to do a series of back and forth between wraiths. So we're just going to build two of these just to deal with the, the land units. Or to deal with the sunken colonies. These will be a little bit odd to do. I don't think I can reach that from the right side, but if I can, that would be great. But we can definitely knock out things like this. Yeah, like these two down here. These two up here. It'll save me a huge headache. Not enough energy. Starport, because you know why not. Another factory, because you know why not. Barracks, because you know why not. in between these two ramps over here. Just in case. I don't want to get bushed. Great the waiting launch orders. Okay. So we'll go ahead and build these two drop ships that we're gonna need later. You guys start working on these. Close to the spore colonies, please. Job this thing's Job so malaligned. I'm gonna lift that up and move it. Job there we go. Job Landing sequence interrupted. What are the odds? Well, we could kill some of these spore colonies from the ledge if I use the scanning device, but I don't think we really need to. Unless I'm going for a hundred percent kills here. That's something I want to do. Can I take your order? We have so many resources right now, I don't even know what to do with it. If I could make battle cruisers, that would be the thing. So I got this guy standing around doing nothing. Might as well build another command center. Continue my crusade here. Let's see how well I can reach this one right here. 
I may not be able to. That is really close to that spore colony. Mm, no, sure can't. Okay. And I could do hit and runs, but. Just go down here and kill this, these two, just because I can. Some of these look hurt, but I don't see any health bars missing. There's one. Damn it. Let's fix it up here. Attack. These things have insane range. I would really like some siege tanks. I'm just going to do hit and runs, I suppose. Might as well. This guy takes three or four hits. Move him out. This guy takes three or four hits. Move him out. Oh, the other two aren't in range. We will take advantage of that. If I had to fight two of these sunken colonies at the same time, that would decimate my troops. Okay. So you think one final push here? of these things. Is that a sunken colony or a yeah, another spore? Let's just move this right here. There we At a siege tank, I could kill these two spore colonies and then use the wraiths to kill the sunken temple there. No problem. But we're kind of limited. I think we're going to leave all these other colonies just because it's just tedious to take them out. I really don't need to start collecting resources here, but let's have it. Okay. So let's grab the two of these guys. Move these two down here along with the rain ore. And that should finish the level. Just gotta wait for them to come on down. And rain ore is being ridiculous. Just go down there. <laughs> Stop moving. Please. And Raynor, what is your problem? Get over here. You're about the last folks I expected to show up. What's your angle here, Minsk? Our angle? I'll give you an angle, you slimy Confederate piece of shit. Jim, enough. I'll handle this. The Confederacy has fallen apart, Duke. Its colonies are in open revolt. The Zerg are rampaging unchecked. What would have happened here today, Gilbert? 
hadn't shown up. Your point? I'm giving you a choice. You can return to the Confederacy and lose, or you can join us and help save our entire race from being overrun by the Zerg. I don't think it's a difficult decision. Join forces with you? I'm a general, for God's sake. A general without an army. I'm offering you a position in my cabinet, not just some backwater post. Don't test my patience, Ed. You've made the right choice, General Duke. I can't believe you're really gonna trust this snake. Don't worry, Jim. He's our snake now. Would you really want a general that will change sides based on who's winning the war at that particular moment in your cabinet? As soon as things turn south for your side, he's just gonna, you know, go back to the Confederates. Anyway, so that concludes the mission. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. 